Uh, yes, welcome back. I'm Zanzi. Of course, it's family day, and a lot of you might be on a sugar high, so we've got something perfect for you to calm the soul. Now, the goal of yoga is to strengthen your mind, body, and spirit. So to achieve this, most yoga types include breathing exercises, meditation, poses, as well as stretches. Now, music usually accompanies most practices, and the reason is actually really simple. It enhances the experience. Now, someone who knows all about the importance of music and yoga is our yogi and musician, Johan Kutsia, who combines the two on a daily basis, and I cannot wait to be re-energized with nothing but positive energy. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you, great. Now, must stay. <laughs> so you've got something special planned for us. Obviously, I know with the weekend, a lot of us have come through a lot of intense times, a lot of chaos, preparing last minute. So this is going to be great to just kind of calm the soul yeah. and allow us to resonate on a better uh, frequency, right? Absolutely. Uh, probably the most important uh, aspects of yoga practice is to be centered, means uh, to be strong in yourself, uh, so that the outside influences, whatever they are, don't run you over. Simple as that. So one of the most basic um, and amazing practices in yoga is to just simply stand. Okay. So people often associate yoga with a lot of movements, and we'll do some of that as well. But just merely standing on both feet. And the most powerful part of that is to put your weight on both legs equally. So when you take a large inhale, and you sink by slightly bending the knees and exhaling towards the ground, you immediately become calm. So in terms of breath, you take a large inhale and you exhale and you bend down a little bit into the legs and you feel more centered. And then when you move from there, in a very simple manner, we'll do a power pose, which is a warrior in yoga. All right. So you're putting one arm out to the front and one arm to the back. And as you breathe, you're already centered. You open up the chest. So you get calm, but you also get stronger. Nice. You're energizing, your energy comes up but you ground at the same time. And there's a bit of strength and comfort in this position. I feel very balanced, well, I feel strong, but at the same yeah. time, opening up indeed. I Absolutely, like it yeah. opens you up. So as soon as you start to take the feet further apart and you continue the breathing on a, on a rhythm pattern, big exhale, you'll find that the energy rises, but you become grounded. You don't hyperventilate. So you'll inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose and then stretch into the hands. Bring the arms down, that's an exhale. And then bring the feet together. And you'll feel you start to change. Yeah, definitely. So we'll usually a lot more re relaxed indeed. So yeah. we we'll usually repeat the same practice to the other side right. combination. So when you go down there and you open up the body more, and I'm going to do it with you. I mean, uh, at you. So yeah. when you take this knee out a little bit further and you're opening up the chest more and you raise this hand just a bit more and then powerful breath in the nose and out through the nose, you will find that your core abdominal muscle strength, it pulls back on the exhale and that gives you a lot more amplification of, of energy. So when you exhale, bringing the hands down from there and you bring the feet together, you'll feel a changed person straight away. Yeah, definitely. Empowering stuff. So to bring us back to a center and a symmetrical uh, uprightness, we can bring the feet together and then bringing the hands down like that, yeah? And you'll raise the arms high up. And then raise your face to look up at the hand. One caution there, you don't want to take the neck too far back, so you keep the head up, but not too far back. It's just to keep it safe for people with a neck issue. Mm. And then placing the feet wide as your mat is, you can stretch forward and then have the hands, palms facing. So we're talking about very simple practices, yeah? And your back will go flat in this region. And if you could raise the arms and stretch harder down, you'll start to feel if you breathe faster breath, with the strong exhales. You relax all the way down with your hands to the feet. And then let your head hang down as well. And then when you roll up, you bend the knees, but you keep the head down. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that gives you a release from the from the forward stretch. The tightness in the body yeah, yeah. there was exploited definitely, that totally. interior chain, yeah, especially yeah. the lower back, feeling it in the glutes as well, and especially sure. on the shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And this is just the beginning of these movements. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's eliminating that tightness for me. We do yeah. have another round of yoga next up in a little bit, so just 
will continue for a lot of us of this weekend, obviously dealing with a little tightness, dealing with a little strain. This is a perfect way to embrace that positivity and at the same time kind of just feel a lot better. And that's what's happening right now. So hopefully you can join us for this next session. Of course, Jan's going to be taking us through that. And oh man, that was absolutely Thank sensational. You Already feeling the good vibes and this will continue. Zanzi, we'll see you in just a bit. It's my feel good Absolutely love it. Yes, so much excitement, so much nerves, and maybe even anxiety as we lead up to the game. So here's a great way to get all those nerves jam-packed into a better space and get better control of it. So we are continuing with our music and yoga experience. This morning, alongside our yogi and musician, Johan Kutsia. Now, we were talking about it earlier, but I have to mention it again. Adding music to your yoga routine can have so many benefits, including boosting your concentration, relaxing the body, lower stress, and it just makes it easier to get into the flow of the routine. And if you haven't noticed in the first part already. The music that you're hearing is actually composed by Johan himself. So you can find all of his incredible music, the tunes that get you into the spirit. That's Johan uh, Kutsia, music and photography. That correct, right? Yes. Music, music and, and yoga. Uh, yoga. Yes, music yeah. and yoga. Sorry. <laughs> photography will maybe come later on. But uh, for now, you're really painting the picture with your body and doing something perfect. We had a nice little warm up and an intro into yoga. Are we going to carry on with that same trend? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do exactly the same practice that we did just now, but with a slight adjustment. So not exactly the same. And I'm noticing the music has a more of an upper beat uh, tone to this yeah, one, and yeah? And it gives us a bit of a vibe and a lift. Okay, yeah. I like that, right? Okay, so for this one, we, we'll begin at the back of the mat. Okay. And then for the viewers looking at us, we're gonna put our, they're gonna put their right foot forward. All right, so the viewers, you heard it, you're gonna join in on us uh, with this one, especially after yeah. the EC weekend, this is gonna be the perfect way to ground. All right, we're all with you. So we put our left foot forward. Yes. So we just take a big step there, raise the arms up, and then the back foot would be at about uh, with the heel down, with the foot pointing forward. So the whole chest is up and open. So what you'll feel, and I will go help you on that one, is that as you sink lower down, so the key here is to sink lower down, and if it's okay for your neck, you can look up to about here and take the arms further back. And the idea of that practice, if I show from the other side, is it gives you a rising arch. Okay. So you're not sinking down with the upper body, but you're sinking into the ground with the hips. And if you continue with a large breath, another two or three, you will feel a huge amount of energy flowing into your legs as well, via the mm. chest, of course. So when you step up, you can go in one big breath and then exhale. <sighs> definitely mm. felt that stimulation yeah, in the yeah. hips for sure. You up yeah, like definitely. Then you step to the back and you simply do the same thing and step forward. Take the arms up, and when you're ready, when you're grounded, you can look up at the, in the direction of the sky or ahead of you in front. And then you'll feel if you start pumping with the breath a little bit more, more powerful, maybe take the arms further back, in the nose, out the nose, you will definitely feel that the expanding of the chest and the strengthening of your legs adds to your overall cardiovascular energy. One more time like that. And bringing the hands down on the out breath, we can step up on the inhale to the front leg. Whew, that is power, oh, man. Yeah, the hip, the pelvic girdle getting massive stimulation. Absolutely. But more so, every breath I take, it feels like that chest kind of expands and opens up more yeah. and more, allows me to get more relaxed in that posture. At first, I will be honest, felt a bit tight, I felt a bit like, closed, awkward, yeah, yeah like yeah. closed off. Body's guarding against it. Absolutely. It's almost like just invite that breath in and it kind of lets the body relax. I yeah. love that feeling. All right. So to counter that yeah. open chest, we'll put the feet as wide as the mat is. All right. Uh, interlace the fingers at the back like that. Okay. And then you'll bend over forward with your head going towards between the knees. So to make that possible, you may want to bend the knees more. Whew. And you let the head hang free and down. So that, that common office tension or morning tension that sits here, you can release that by letting a uh, release of the neck and the head and the weight of the head. And then as you exhale, you'll find now you're warming up and the arms will just go over more and more and more and more. And this is a huge stimulation for circulation to the brain. Come up on the inhale, exhale, and you'll absolutely feel 
Oh, like it's a lifted energy. Hey man, I gotta tell you, these tight <laughs> positions you're getting me into at first, it's, it's so uncomfortable, but the yeah. minute I breathe, body melts into body it. Body melts into it, that yeah. tightness just dissipates, and you feel like you're almost just erupting into something new. I absolutely, absolutely. love this. Jan Kids here taking us through an exceptional music and yoga journey, and we've got one more coming at you in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. I'm feeling so zen already, I'm feeling so calm. And if you're joining us with this one, and I know you are too, but don't go anywhere. One more coming at you. <laughs> it's my feel good breakfast show. <sighs> Welcome back, you beautiful souls. We are carrying on with the magic right now with yogi and musician Johan Kotze, and he's back with us one last time this morning as we continue to explore the benefits of music and yoga, and maybe even in the form of therapy too. Now, both yoga and music are similar in the sense that they were developed as ways to achieve harmony between the heart and soul on the path to a divine enlightenment. Now, music makes us, well, makes use of various instruments to produce melodious tunes and sounds, and yoga transforms the body into an instrument itself, which paves the way for a healthier way of life. And with that being said, you can call this therapy. It's like going to church. It's like uh, music and therapy for the soul, which I absolutely love. If you join us for the first two sessions, then I'm sure you've felt that already. And we're going to continue with that one last time with the yogi himself. You ready for this one? Fantastic. <laughs> so what are we going through now? For this one, I'm going to uh, show you some back practices. All right. Do you want me to turn my mat as well? No, no. You can keep yours All like right. that. So what I'll, I'll quickly show you. Okay. So essentially, a lot of people have a lot of uh, back, lower back yes. pain. Most a lot of our viewers that. complain about that. Right. Yeah. So yoga, it's not a quick fix, mm. but it's a fantastic therapeutic tool to simply lie on the back like that yeah. and then give your knee a hug. Okay. It's just like that. Okay. So if you want to try that, I'll show right, you. Let me go show down. You. Oh, let's move these backs so out of the way. Your viewers will see if you bend the knees, feet to the floor. Both of them? Yeah, yeah. That the lower back goes flat to the floor, right? Yeah. So if you lengthen at the back of the neck, yeah, it releases all tension from your back. Oh, so Fine. instead of having that like yeah, arch exactly. and looking up, yeah, yeah. relax the neck, relax Simple the head. That. Almost kind of try to yeah. get the neck onto the mat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the primary tool of, of yoga is the breath. So when you exhale there, you'll feel that the spine releases all tension. So it's important if you want to exhale and bring the head up to the knees on the out breath. So if you want to do that on the next exhale, you'll get a further lengthening of the spinal cord and the vertebra and the back muscles. And as you put the head to the ground, next inhale, legs up to the roof. Feet yeah. to the roof? Just straight up, yeah. Or bend knees is good. And then rock yourself upright from there. Yeah, so you can roll up on the inhale, bring the whole body up. So you can roll yourself with the head up, like a half roll there. Yeah, you'll find that immediately your energy is again that calm that we talked about in the beginning, but your back feels better. I must say, the minute I started breathing while lying on my back, the tension releases, and the best way I can describe it is like that melting sensation, all yeah. that tension around those intercostal muscles yeah, around yeah. the spine just going, <sighs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Literally yeah, feels yeah. like that, like oozing into happiness. I love yeah. that. So that's a that's a really important unwinder mm. at the yoga practice. So that we, when we do those stronger practices, that we ground into the body. So I often say that it's like all about being in the body, but on the ground. Yeah. Whether you stand or sit. So if I wanted to show that to you quickly, and you get a visual of it, if I do one leg like that, and you can also do one leg at a yes. time. And you'll see that the lower back goes flat to the ground. And yes. if you lift the head up like that, you get a tremendous stretch out of the lower back like I that. I felt for me, especially when I was in this position, from being down at my neck on the ground, yeah. once lifting that head, I felt more of the lower more back release, yeah, almost yeah, yeah. releasing and stretching yeah. out. Also the glutes yeah. at the same time behind Absolutely. the body. So this is fantastic yeah. stuff, man. So if you do one leg at a time, yeah. you get an even greater result. But I would usually do it in a combination. For myself or for therapy clients as well oh, as for classes. I think Mzanzi yeah. is going to absolutely love this. And I think at the same time, a great way after an intense yeah. weekend, maybe or after a hard yeah, yeah. day of work, yeah, yeah. just to kind of unwind, recalibrate, yeah. and get this therapy. I like how you mentioned it. It, it feels like therapy. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a combination of music, moving the body in a beautiful way. And uh, Johanna, I can't thank you enough. And it's a self-therapy, so that's really fantastic. Mzanzi, of course, there you have it. Three beautiful sessions, recalibrating, getting the body back in tune. And of course, you want to find more of the incredible music to go along 
along with your yoga, then you can head over to this man's socials. That's Johan Kotze, music and yoga. It's got everything that you need, upbeat, low, recalming, relaxing. We got you covered. Johan, thank you so much. Thank Zanzi. you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. Namaste. Thank you for having me. <laughs>